Have you ever been suffering from jet lag? I know for some people, they suffer jet lag when they are, you know, on an 18 hour flight and the time difference is like 16 hours. For some people, it's like two hours and they are completely jet lagged. Now, why is that important? And why would I talk about this? I talk a lot about how you step from pain into your power, where you have um, more choices, more freedom to make those decisions. Um, because I want you to live life on your own terms. So why does jet lag matter, especially now uh, since people start to travel again? And I, I was on a flight and just now, and all those flights are cracking full. The airport is crazy. It's hectic and there's chaos and people are stressing out. So why is it important that you uh, deal with jet lag in a holistic way. I'm not about medication and taking all kinds of supplements. It's up to you. Please check with your medical provider. But why would you uh, find ways how you can deal with jet lag in a more holistic and sustainable way, in a healthier way, right? And imagine you arrive at your destination um, and you're ready, you're sharp, you're energized, you're full of vitality. Whether it's on your vacation, you can already, you know, explore and do the things you like to do, or it's a business trip and you have to be ready for those meetings. Why is that important? Um, let me tell you, it is important because if you show up with more energy, you're not wasting your time. It's like you're already spending so much time on a plane, so why would you waste more time? Uh, so what can you do? Three simple things. First of all, set your watch to the time zone of your destination. And on the plane, make sure that you stay up when it's still time to be awake in your destination. It doesn't matter where you, where you leave from. Set the time for your destination. And if it's possible, and I know... It's not always possible, but also time, um, the food intake, that it kind of makes sense for the time zone of your destination. So number one. Number two is stay hydrated. Drink enough water. It's very dry on a plane, um, high altitude, so you want to stay hydrated. And uh, number three is if you can, walk around, move, uh, bring your blood in circulation you are not stale, you are not like completely sluggish. So these three things I do consistently, whether I'm on a two-hour flight or on an 18-hour flight, right? But always be safe. If like there's turbulence and they ask you to sit down, then you better sit down, right? And buckle up. Hope this serves you, my friends. Please uh, share, please like. And probably somebody needs to hear this as well. Somebody who travels a lot and is constantly, you know, popping pills to fight jet lag. My name is Renata Prandl. I'm a mentor and coach to people who want to live life on their own terms uh, at a very high level of energy, life by design, high performance style. So love to connect with you. Love to hear how you're doing once you follow these three simple steps, so time is the time zone uh, of your destination. That's what's important. Drink enough water, stay hydrated. And number three, walk around, move, circle your legs, your arms. So there are lots of different things you can do even while you're sitting. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing more bits and pieces of wisdom with you.